Mars, one of the most promising planets for exploration and future colonization. This dilemma worries not only us, but also scientists. They do everything to provide a possible life for people. In this edition, you will see the main mysteries that Mars hides, learn the secrets of a lost civilization. Will humans be able to live on Mars? What is Mars? Astronomers are haunted by the mysteries of Mars. Many questions still cannot be explained. First, it became possible to see a celestial body through a telescope. Observations have shown that the planet looks like a red ball. It is covered with volcanoes and craters and surrounded by atmospheric clouds. To expand knowledge, people have developed a rover. Since the second half of the 20th century, these devices have been exploring a space object and taking various interesting pictures. The resulting footage helps unravel some of the mysteries of Mars, but at the same time contributes to the emergence of new questions. And the main thing that interests researchers is, was there life on the planet and is it possible for Earthlings to master these still little explored distances? Chinese astronomers called Mars a fiery star. And until now, this fire is fueled by scientific passions boiling around the planet. Mars is the fourth planet of the solar system, half the radius of the Earth, but the area is equal to all the Earth's continents combined since there are no oceans. In 2008, a NASA research probe discovered water in the form of ice on the planet. No wonder the temptation is to populate the planet and literally in July 2019, rocket engines to fly there for the first time were able to lift Starhopper into the air, prototype that in a few years will turn into a starship, a rocket and a ship created specifically for flights to Mars. Scientists believe that due to the fact that with the use of more than 100 times starship, the cost of flights to Mars will have to fall sharply. The average annual temperature on Mars is 63 degrees Celsius, about the same as the Antarctic station Vostok. It's so cold there because its atmosphere is 150 times thinner than Earth's. With such a thin gas shell, the greenhouse effect is very weak, which is why colds occur. The problem can be solved if the climatic conditions on Mars are brought closer to the Earth's climate. This process is called terraforming. In the case of Mars, this would have to somehow drastically heat up the surface of the planet, which even in its past years is 56 million kilometers away. Scientists are pretty hard at work on this problem. And in 2019, an unusual way was presented to make the red planet habitable, at least partially to begin with. It turned out that a transparent dome made of an exotic gel material only a couple of centimeters thick warms the Earth's imitation of Martian soil so much in poor local lighting that it is able to support plant life without additional heating. And this is a real sensation. There are riddles. NASA has developed the Perseverance rover, whose mission is to find life on the planet. The rover was launched into outer space in 2020. The robot flew to Mars for a little over six months and landed on the red planet in February 2021. The rover has a large number of useful tools in its arsenal, seven scientific gadgets for research, two cameras he can even take selfies, two microphones and even a drone that looks like a regular drone. With such a large arsenal, the rover could provide humanity with a huge amount of information about the planet, but it will take time. The rover rolls around Mars quite slowly, only a couple of meters per hour, and the mission of the robot itself is designed for only 10 years but under some circumstances, it can be delayed. The study of the planet occurs in several ways. First, the rover takes pictures of the surrounding area. Secondly, the rover examines the surface, takes samples and analyzes what is found. Thirdly, Perseverance was sent to Mars to discover the possibilities of converting carbon dioxide into oxygen. By the way, he managed to do this in the spring of 2021. In the region of the Northern Hemisphere, which is called Kaidonia, triangular mysterious elevations have been discovered. Just look at this. What do they remind you of? The same geometric pattern in the arrangement resembles the Egyptian pyramids. The discovery leads scientists to think about the same authors of the complexes located on two different planets. Scientists are also interested in who erected pyramids on Mars, striking in their size. 
if the structures are really artificial, then the ancient civilizations had very powerful technical capabilities. Other scientists see in the elevations ordinary huge hills that were formed under the influence of environmental conditions. We hope Perseverance will find out their real origin. Let's go back to the distant 1976, when something similar to the Sphinx was discovered from the Viking spacecraft. Some of these gases were called the fruit of the imagination. We see the face on Mars only as a result of the work of our brain. Scientists were shocked when in 2001 detailed images were taken by the Mars Global Severe spacecraft and it turned out that the face on Mars was nothing more than a weathered hill. The bizarre outlines on the imperfect Viking frames were called an illusion that arose due to the play of light and shadow. Just look at this model of early Mars. A recent study confirmed scientists' hypothesis that the red planet used to have a lot of water to completely cover the surface of the planet with one giant ocean 100 meters deep. At the same time, the water was probably concentrated in an ocean larger than the Arctic Ocean on Earth, which occupied about 19% of the surface of Mars. Scientists believe that Mars has lost 87% of its water, which has evaporated into space. Just look at these discovered deposits of tridomite. They testify to the violent volcanic activity of Mars in the past. New data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter suggests that Mars once had volcanoes that erupted under ice. Did you know that the once famous red planet was actually more white than red? Astronomers are sure that this is because Mars relatively recently experienced an ice age, much more extreme than those that have happened on Earth. A team of scientists came to this conclusion by observing layers of ice at the North Pole of Mars. Using ground-penetrating radar, astronomers saw a cross-section in the ice structure at a depth of 2 kilometers under the ice crust of Mars, which is evidence of an intense ice age experienced by the planet 370,000 years ago. Just listen to this windy soundtrack. On fragments of the recording from Perseverance, the rumble of the wind is heard. Despite the very thin atmosphere, the air masses of Mars can move around. The space messenger Curiosity captured a surge of methane in the planet's shell. But what could cause this jump? There is also a possibility that biological material hit the planet along with meteorites. These secrets of Mars also have to be unraveled. Was there life on Mars? The latest hypotheses of scientists are inclined to believe that foreign bodies invaded the solar system from outer space. On their way was a planet Phaeton, close to Mars. From a strong impact, it fell apart. Shards pierced the magnetic field of Mars. The solar wind blew away the atmosphere, making life on the planet impossible. In addition, fragmentation particles almost destroyed Mars itself. Deep scars remained on its surface, the totality of which was called the Mariner Valley. If this hypothesis is true, then the following question arises. Did the entire population of the planet die in a catastrophe, or were the inhabitants able to escape and settle somewhere else? When we get an answer to this question, it will be possible to judge how likely the origin of life is in other regions of the universe. I tell you what can be done in general so that after a certain number of years, people walk around the Martian fields and admire two moons at once. At the moment, it has been established that Martian soil would be quite suitable for planting plants. It contains the necessary chemical elements, but the force of gravity of this cosmic object is weaker than that of the Earth more than twice. In order to move comfortably on such a surface, it is necessary to have a special weight suit that helps to create the necessary load on the skeleton. Scientists are thinking about how to terraform Mars, that is to carry out a process which goal is to transform the planetary environment into a more suitable for human life. Artificial means are being devised to realize such intentions, suitable methods and strategies are being developed. The main goals are to create the right atmosphere, keep it warm and prevent the leakage of atmospheric particles into space. One hypothetical method is to release ammonia into the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. It is assumed that it is found in large quantities in a frozen state on dwarf planets. It remains to find a way to transport the gas and introduce it into the Martian atmosphere. It is also necessary to deliver hydrogen and compounds containing fluoride there. As part of terraforming, we are even talking about placing mirrors in orbit around Mars. Their purpose should be to direct solar energy to the surface of the planet as a result of which the ambient air temperature would increase. 
Another way to achieve warming on the planet is to bombard its surface with small asteroids. It would be possible to send them to the right place with the help of lasers placed in space. By the way, this proposal was put forward by Elon Musk. The source of heat would be the energy from such collisions. The chemical composition of asteroids is different, and one could use the right bodies, for example, those that contain ammonia. Mars has very unusual landforms that are not found on Earth. One of them is the 4,000-kilometer-long canyon system of the Mariner Valley, the longest known in the solar system. Its width is up to 200 kilometers and its depth is up to 7 kilometers. This means that at the bottom of the canyons, the atmospheric pressure is one and a half times higher and it is noticeably warmer and wetter there than on the rest of the planet. Who knows, perhaps it is in these canyons that people could settle. Of course, there is no coal on Mars, burning which can create a greenhouse effect. And CO2 is not the most efficient greenhouse gas. There are much better candidates, of which the most promising is SF6. Its molecule consists of one sulfur atom around which six fluorine atoms stick out. Due to bulkiness, the molecule perfectly intercepts both ultraviolet and infrared radiation, while transmitting visible light well. In terms of the strength of the greenhouse effect it causes, it is 34,900 times greater than carbon dioxide. That is, only a million tons of this substance would give the same greenhouse effect as tens of billions of tons of CO2 emitted by mankind today. According to calculations, in about 100 years, the injection of super greenhouse gases of this type can raise the temperature on the planet by tens of degrees. That is, those who want to create a comfortable temperature for human habitation will have to build on the planet a whole nuclear power plant for 500 megawatts production facilities that constantly release SF6 gas into the atmosphere. All this time, people who provide their activities and study Mars will need to leave somewhere. Obviously, the best solution for the local transformation of the planet in the places of their settlement will be air gel domes. That is, if necessary, terraforming will go in two ways at once – local, for the current colonists with the help of domes, and global, for the planet as a whole. If you like this exciting journey, join the community of science and space lovers by subscribing to the channel. I would also love to see a thumbs up from you so I know you enjoy my videos.